Once again, it's Tech Tip Tuesday, and this week we are excited to show you how to search within reports to find the precise data that you're looking for. Within Job Boss, I have pulled up two reports here within the report screen. On the first tab, we have the general ledger account detail, and then I'm going to jump on over to the foreman's report. Starting with the GL account detail, it is typical that this particular report on a monthly basis can be very long. If you see here, this particular one is 20 pages in length. Unfortunately, I'm out of balance by $695, and I'm trying to weed through a needle in a haystack to find $695. Well, there's a quick way. At the top of your screen here, click Search Report. And you will find on the search report screen, down the right hand side, I know it kind of looks a little bit techy, but the names of the actual fields on your report are shown here to the right. The account field, the description of that account, the name of the customer or vendor, the transaction date, etc. We are looking for today an amount, $695. If I select the amount field, I know that it's equal to $695. I'll select that argument and fill in the number, $695. At the bottom of the screen, I'll click Add to Formula, and I will apply this particular criteria. Ta-da! Here we have that we had an AP document for $695 go in, and then the AP check for $695 coming on out. Easy as that. So that's for accounting, and of course you can do this in, you know, a ton of reports within Job Boss, but how about you schedulers out there? Take a look at the foreman's report. Keep in mind the foreman's report lets you know all work that's currently at the work center now and everything coming to it as well. Well, this particular report, again, is 17 pages in length. That's a lot to sort through when really, in reality, I am looking for one thing that customer that squeals the loudest and in my case it's caterpillar i'll click on search report at the top of the screen i am going to tell the system that i am looking for where the customer is equal to and i'll fill in the customer id in this case c-a-t-i-n-c for caterpillar incorporated let's add that formula and apply the criteria we are down to three pages. Yes, they are my largest customer that's crying the loudest. And now I can see just where the jobs are for Caterpillar in each one of my individual work centers. Keep in mind one quick trip, uh, tip, not trick. If you go ahead and go back to your search report criteria, notice that it retains that information that you put in there already. So now if I wanted to go ahead and look for let's say Ford and all of their work, I would want to highlight and delete that formula and then go ahead and search for the next one. Add that formula and apply. And we've got all Ford's work now. Easy as that. Any field that you have within a report, you can use within this select report criteria and it's like adding a brand new filter to your reports that you never had before. Good luck. Have fun.